Welcome to Topic A, everyone here on WYLN. I'm Gary Perna. This week, we're going to talk about the Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress. Krishna Snyder, the Executive Director, is here. We're going to talk about where DHAP is, what we're going to see in 2018 moving forward, and how you could still be involved in a downtown revitalization. That's all coming up this week on Topic A, only on WYLN. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Looking to turn your scrap into cash? Look to Brenner Recycling with the highest prices in Hazleton for all Ferris and non-Ferris scrap. The more weight you bring, the more cash we pay. As the area's largest recycling center for over 86 years, Brenner Recycling's state-of-the-art recycling equipment means you're able to go green while you get more green in your pocket. Turn your scrap into cash today. Look to Brenner Recycling, conserving the future by recycling the past. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. Welcome back to Topic Everyone here on WYLN. I'm Gary Perna. I'm very pleased to have with me Chris Snyder, the Executive Director of Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress. And Chris is here going to give us an update on what's going on in the downtown and a look ahead at 2018 and what we can expect as the downtown is really starting to take shape. So Krista, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. So um, a lot has been going on with DHAP in its short four years mm -hmm. of existence. Um, we've seen a lot of buildings starting to get rehab. We are now uh, starting to see the evolution of the city park and mm -hmm. what that's going to become. So there's a lot going on in the downtown. So first of all, uh, give us a little background and how DHAP got its start and uh, what led us to today. Mm -hmm. Well, there were a, several groups of folks that uh, got together about four years ago, including the city, uh, the chamber, Can Do, and uh, DHD Realty. So it's a public-private partnership along with a, a few other partners, uh, Luzerne County Community College, Lackawanna College, uh, that we rely on uh, for uh, partnerships, the, the um, Historical Society and so mm -hmm. forth. So we uh, established uh, an organization. Uh, we funded a plan, a strategic plan for the downtown. And we've been working ever since to try to implement that plan. And uh, this year was really, you know, I, I would say a, a productive year in the sense that uh, a lot of the behind the scenes work that we've been doing is starting to pay off where we have a lot of projects under renovation, a lot of building mm -hmm. properties under renovation. Uh, and uh, over the past four years, we're proud to say that, and a lot of people don't necessarily realize this, but over 60 new net new businesses have come into the downtown. Wow. And that equates to over uh, about 110, 120 uh, full-time equivalent jobs. It and this, when this all started, we remind people of what Hazleton looked like five, six years ago, mm -hmm. especially the downtown. There mm -hmm. were not a lot of businesses, uh, storefronts occupying. Uh, buildings were looking a little run down. Mm -hmm. uh, we had vacant buildings. Mm -hmm. um, and through the city and, and DHAP and, and the other partners in there, 
th this plan was formulated. We've seen buildings come down. Uh, the Greco building came down, for instance, mm -hmm. and we have the park now. Right. Uh, buildings that were able to be saved mm -hmm. have now been saved and mm -hmm. been turned into um, office buildings. Uh, of course, uh, the bank buildings are, are right. the biggest things, and, and what people really see when they come to downtown Hazleton are these, you know, not skyscrapers, but for Hazleton, right. they kind of are our, right. our skyscrapers uh, next to the Marco building. Right. Yeah. The um, Thanks to DHD uh, Realty and their private investment, they, they're investing probably over if not more than 20, about $20 million wow. worth of private investment um, on renovating the, the three big bank buildings. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of support from the state for uh, what they see as really investment in downtown revitalization mm -hmm. all over the state. But Hazleton um, has been particularly, uh, you know, uh, I think situated because we did have a, a plan uh, and we do have so many partnerships in place uh, you know, so one good thing is leading to another. Uh, you know, we have the park, as you said, uh, that'll be, we, we just got funding for phase two, or most of our funding for phase two, so that'll start out uh, probably uh, sometime in 2018. We, we can start on that. The Arts Center, the former Security Savings Bank building uh, that we've owned now for the past three years uh, is finally under renovation. Uh, hopefully that'll be open. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be, complete in the sense mm -hmm. of uh, the final design. We're trying to raise more money for that, but it'll be open and it'll be open for business with the Art League, uh, hosting programs in there next year. Wow. Uh, we have other good things going on. Can Do uh, made some investments downtown. They're working uh, with uh, Godstein Corporation to renovate a historic building uh, that'll be turned into a uh, an Irish-themed brew pub. So. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, so so new businesses, new uh, new nightlife uh, will come into the downtown. We're also working very closely with uh, Penn State University and uh, and Can Do on uh, trying to establish a, a business incubator mm -hmm. for the downtown uh, district. that will be part of a, a larger network, a larger ecosystem, I guess you could say, of uh, entrepreneurial uh, resources. You know, to try to create business right. uh, that trying to trying to grow business from within rather than wait for for folks to come in from out of town and invest in in Hazleton. We're trying to grow that investment right here at home. You know, there have been a, a lot of people who are saying, you know, we're, you're wasting your money. We're, we're you, it's a downtown's not here. The money's not here, um, and, and that has started to subside a little bit uh, with now the process being the progress being made. Um, you know, seeing a lot of the behind the scene works that have to go into this. You guys have been writing grants nonstop, <laughs> a lot of grants, uh, yeah. fundraising, yeah, fundraising. Um, yeah. countless meetings uh, mm -hmm. with legislators uh, and private investors mm -hmm. to get this going. And, and it's funny because, you know, if you would show a photo of downtown Hazleton, you know, 2009 mm -hmm. to downtown Hazleton 2017, it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, with Penn not coming through when they yeah, did the big the Broad project. Street corridor, sure. So, um, what it's looking like now, and, and this is our, our transition years, I guess yeah. you could really say. And one of the things that is bringing a lot of recognition to downtown Hazleton is the Center City Park. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the DC and our secretary was yeah. in town not too long ago mm -hmm. with it, and just got funding uh, through them uh, for the park. When the park and art center are are done, what is that going to look like? Well, I think it'll be a new landmark space it'll be landmark open open space uh, civic space for the for the city that it's never had before it's never mm -hmm. really had a green space um, one of the things that we did when we started this was we did a survey and you know on low very low in in, in the rankings was you know how how green is your downtown how you know what the mm -hmm. what does the streetscape look like uh, is it is it pretty do people want to spend time there uh, you know so it's a beautification project Number one, but it's also a um, a, a place. It's going to be a place for for cultural events, mm -hmm. uh, and and it's a branding and identity uh, image that mm -hmm. I think is going to resonate with people because uh, it's going to be a landmark space. And the art center, you know, the two of them together, uh, we've always seen them as a um, as, as a as a partnership. You know, with because the city owns the park and and we own the art center, and uh, you know we just want to see them work in, in synergy. 
Right. We're going to stop there and take a quick break. We come back and we'll see what else we're going to expect in downtown Hazleton moving through this year. Uh, we're going to talk about how downtown Hazleton is now becoming a hub for a lot that's going on in, in the city. And of course, one of the biggest things we always talk about here is First Friday and how you can get involved with that. Stay with us on Topic A. We'll be right back on WYLN. At All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we treat our customers like family. Because to us, nothing is more important than family. So come on in and let our family get your family into a new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram. Need a work truck or have an active family lifestyle? All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Big Finish event. All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Tabacqua. This train key. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor. To a life of courage. And a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation other. They still do. The few. The proud. The Marines. Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton based broadcast television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates Politicians, community leaders, and more appear on a storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional airtimes only on WYLN TV 35. We're your local network. SAFE, supporting autism and families everywhere, helps people with special needs live full and independent lives. They focus on serving individuals with autism in a variety of ways, including collaboration with service providers and agencies to provide resources to the autism community, one-on-one -on -one support as needed to direct families to appropriate resources, circulating timely information pertinent to the autism community, and monthly support group meetings in Hazleton and Kingston. For more information, call 570-822-7259. Visit them online at autismsafe.org. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You're going to meet Brenda, and we're going to talk about chiropractic and pregnancy and how good chiropractic care can help you to feel so much better all the way along the way. That's what's coming up this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us. Back to Topic A here on WYLN. We're talking about all the downtown Hazleton and the downtown Hazleton lines for progress with Krista Schneider and Krista. Um, we focused a lot in the first part about Broad Street and mm -hmm. the stuff that's going on, but uh, it kind of expands more than just Broad Street. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys got a, a grant for Wyoming Street as mm -hmm. well, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, the city, we, we partnered with the city, helped mm -hmm. them uh, write the grant. Uh, they were funded 300000 for uh, Wyoming Street Streetscape improvements so it's it's not all the money that's needed there's still some other grants pending but uh, the idea is to to you know as Broad Street has been redeveloped mm -hmm. uh, to, to do the same for for Wyoming Street and uh, I think that'll make a huge difference is there a what's What's the scope that DHAP is in? You know, are, is there certain perimeters that mm -hmm. you guys yeah, we work have a, in? Yeah, we have a designated uh, Main Street, what's called a Main Street designated mm -hmm. district. Uh, it extends all the way up Wyoming Street and then Broad Street uh, from basically Poplar up to, uh, actually up to Diamond, the intersection okay. uh, with Diamond Avenue, uh, where it turns, you know, where mm -hmm. with the juncture with West Hazleton. Um, but the, the core of our, um, 
efforts have been focused in the core downtown. So there, so it's not just worrying about downtown, um, the, the exact downtown, maybe from mm -hmm. you know Church Street to mm -hmm. uh, Wyoming. It, it can span out depending yep. on on everything. Yeah, there's some side streets, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, off of Broad that, that uh, the district encompasses as well. Um, a lot has been, an effort has been put into some of the fa facades of mm -hmm. downtown Hazleton. We saw some of uh, longtime businesses put money into uh, making sure the outside of their businesses mm -hmm. are, are looking good and that's part of this project as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, we were, uh, we, we, we were very grateful to uh, the First Federal Foundation actually who funded a a very nice facade gr grant program mm -hmm. for us that we were able to match with some state money. And so we've been able to, I think it's been about five facades now that we've been uh, involved with, um, you know, and we help with design mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and, you know, bidding for, for construction. And then we help out with uh, construction management and, uh, of course, we, we assist with the finances of that as well. And, and I know, like we saw the Salvation Army building mm -hmm. um, uh, take on a new shape, and, and some of the other buildings downtown. And um, what, when you said you know able to help with some, what are some of the things that DHAB can do? So if their businesses are downstairs and people are watching, think, well, you know, maybe you know it, it's worth the investment in downtown. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you guys are able to do to help them? Well, the the big thing is, uh, I mean, we we have guidelines. They're on our website. Uh, the, the mini it's a mini grant program mm -hmm. uh, so there's not a ton of money you know for each project but you know if people are looking to update their facade with um, say new windows or uh, new signage uh, we could assist with that to some extent with the signage uh, but but really our focus has really been on trying to restore some of the historic features mm -hmm. of some of these downtown properties a lot of the uh, like our first project was a, a building the data from 18. Uh, 70 some I think right on Broad Street right next to the Dragonfly and uh, it was covered up with siding mm -hmm. you know the owners didn't even know they had windows behind the siding so we were able to peel all that back restore the original you know windows mm -hmm. and uh, restore w put new windows in the the original openings give it a you know nice structural repairs and uh, it's it's one of the nicest buildings now on Broad Street um, with, with DHAP, uh, and a lot that you guys do is is really driven on uh, fundraising and grants mm -hmm. coming in, and there are still opportunities for people, especially large businesses, mm -hmm. um, to be part of, of this and to make donations to it. So how does that work? Mm -hmm. How does a business get involved with yeah, you guys? Yeah, and it's important to know, we're a, so we're a 501c3 nonprofit. All of our operating costs, I mean, we get a lot of grants from some from the state, from the mm -hmm. federal government, for uh, project-related uh, expenses. But our operations are entirely funded by private donations, and uh, we have, um, you know, that's what allows us to to to, to do all, everything mm -hmm. that we're doing. Um, we have a, our website. You know, you can donate online. Uh, we have, you know, if anybody wants to say even we we can even accept uh, appreciated stock. I mean, there's a lot of things that. Um, especially at the end of the year, where you know ta if people are thinking about taxes, tax time, uh, giving to a nonprofit is a great way mm -hmm. to to leverage those dollars. And and you are you are the only uh, employee uh, of, <laughs> yes, of DHAP, um, and yeah. I know it's really sometimes and it's and you know we're not laughing about it, but uh, sometimes <laughs> you're pulled in 27 different directions. When I'm, I'm like Krista, uh, you have a moment. <laughs> she's like, I I'm not even in the state right now. Um, but w with your job. Uh, in this, you have gone to other communities. Mm -hmm. You have seen what has been what has been working there, and seminars and stuff like that, and uh, been bringing it back and implementing here in downtown Hazleton. And when DHAP came uh, to its existence, that's when we've started to see a lot of the um, initiatives back into downtown Hazleton being a main street. Mm -hmm. um, that's how we got First Friday mm -hmm. and events like that mm -hmm. in downtown Hazleton. And so when people hear First Friday, it's a great time to go and, and, and take a look at the downtown. But it's also used for you guys as a way to uh, get some exposure mm -hmm. and some fundraising uh, mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, we, we have a few events that we run ourselves that, uh, you know, help, like you said, it, it raises some money. But basically, it's, it's really a way to get people to come downtown to spend time and and realize that there's a whole bunch. I, I always hear like when we do our uh, like say the wine and chocolate walk mm -hmm. or we just do the wassail fest. A lot of people that haven't been downtown in years they come and they say, "Wow, I can't believe how many nice businesses there mm -hmm. are down here." They get to meet the owners, 
the owners are thrilled because you know they get you know people that'll come back not necessarily maybe buying something that night but they'll come back uh, you know and they, they tell their friends and like oh well the perception the perception has always been worse than than mm-hmm. the reality and so to try to change that perception is a Herculean task and uh, really the only way you could do that is one person at a time and just you know having those personal experiences and telling it, their friends it's really retraining people to, about the shop local stay local yeah. not having to drive somewhere or go to a big box store when you have right. many businesses that right. are are you know selling or making items right, right here in our area and, and I think you know everything you could get almost everything online right now you know you, you don't have to leave your living room but the thing that a, a downtown you know business brings is much more than just the product they bring the experience mm-hmm. they bring you know the, the knowledge that or you know that the, the feel-good experience that you're supporting the local economy, uh, you know the owner, you're supporting him and his family or mm-hmm. her, and um, and and finding something unique, having a unique experience to go along with it. So it's more than just you know the product itself. And, and you know it's always uh, I always say when we're doing things, you know, downtown Hazelton isn't just restaurants uh, or buying candy or stuff like that. There are some great businesses mm-hmm. that people don't even think about or they don't even see. Uh, maybe because they don't have a storefront window right yeah. on Broad Street, but there are many things in the Marco Building, uh, mm-hmm. coming into the Traders Bank Building, uh, the Exchange, where there are so many uh, mm-hmm. businesses operating mm-hmm. that people really uh, don't don't get to see on first glance. And coming in the first Fridays mm-hmm. and events like that, let them see mm-hmm. exactly what we have. So we're going to take a short break there, but we'll be right back here on Top of the Gay. Stay with us. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville, 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe, 28 minutes from Tamaqua, 20 minutes from Shavertown, and 28 minutes from Clark Summit. Barber Ford in Exeter and Hazleton. Online at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. Look, I may be out of line here, but I have to get something off my chest. The little guys in the shop are taking all the credit for this year's number one request, Service Electric's high-speed internet. Sure, it's great. I mean, it flies, and I should know. But the little guys don't even make it. Service Electric does. There, someone finally had the antlers big enough to say it. They can't tell it's me, right? Uh Uh-oh. Get Service Electric high-speed internet free for two months, including free installation. Call today or visit secb.com slash holiday. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Watch off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Hey, welcome back to the topic, everyone, here on WYLN. And Krista, I want to talk about, uh, we touched a little bit about First Friday, um, about bringing people to downtown. But these aren't uh, things that just happen. Uh, there are planning going into it. Um, what events are going to take place throughout uh, the year? Uh, so, if somebody wants to get involved in the first Friday part of it, uh, how can they do that? How does this work? You know, how mm-hmm. do, how do our all the ideas come up? Well, we have uh, every January. So, there's no first Friday scheduled for January, uh, but we are. So, we are having our planning meeting January 4th. It's a Thursday, 5 p.m. <clears throat> at the chamber. So, anybody who is interested in whether they're a business owner or somebody from outside of Hazleton that just wants to get involved as a volunteer or, you know, they're thinking about maybe, you know, coming in as a vendor for mm-hmm. one of our events or something like that, they could come. Uh, 
participate in our planning meeting, share some ideas. Uh, if they can't make it, they could give me a call. Uh, we could talk about it. You mm -hmm. know, so there's also a form on our website. Uh, so if somebody wanted to participate in a First Friday in some way, whether they be like an artist or a musician, mm -hmm. they're looking for a host or a place to, to set up shop, uh, we'd love to have them. So just go on our website or email me. Somehow give me a call, get in touch. And, and this is kind of, it, your First Friday really kick, usually kicks off in February for you guys. Mm -hmm. You kind of run February to December. So yeah. every January is kind of the yeah, planning, planning thing. Session. So, yeah. you know, it's nice if people think, oh, maybe this January, uh, I don't know. Uh, but you guys, and you're all throughout the year, you will always take uh, right. suggestions and yeah, things that absolutely. go on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, what we try to do is create a broad framework for, you know, different themes for each month or, you know, a, a um, featured event for each mm -hmm. month uh, and then fill in from there. So. You know, if there's somebody that, like I said, that uh, that wants to participate but doesn't know quite how or mm -hmm. when, when or where, I can help them with that. I know. I, I loved when we had the 4th of July, first Friday, when uh -huh. we got everyone downtown. Of course, two years ago, my favorite one was the media night. One. Yeah. That, that <laughs> was fun. Freedom of speech tour. Um, we had a great time with that. Um, there are still a lot of things left to be done uh, in downtown Hazleton. We've talked about a lot of the projects that are ongoing. What is what is on the list for 2018 that we're going to see uh, start really to come um, full force uh, for DHAP? Right. Well, we, I mentioned the park, mm -hmm. uh, that phase two renovation or uh, rehab should should at least start next year. Uh, the business incubator, hopefully if we could uh, secure the, we, we have half the funding that we need. Uh, if we could secure the other half, we're hoping to, to get that mm -hmm. open, uh, which would be awesome. Uh, trying to set up the programs right now, you know, with the part, with the partnering organizations. So uh, there's gonna be a huge focus on entrepreneurship, um, business recruitment and, uh, and business development. Uh, there's also, like I said, the Art Center will open uh, official, officially. It'll open, it won't be at full, you know, full, right. full capacity. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the Broad and Barrel will open, hopefully maybe the end of next year, if not 2019. Um, we'll continue with our facade projects. Um, and we'll keep trying to secure as many grants as we can. Uh, people say, well, the downtown gets so much money, but if you don't apply for it, if we don't apply for it, it goes to another community. Right, right. And, and I know, and a lot of it uh, you guys have been doing is a lot of coming out of grants. So whether it's LSA money, uh, it, it's coming from DCNR or, or some other organ uh, state organization like that. Uh, quickly though, I wanna just uh, talk about the Traders Bank building. Now that's mm -hmm. starting to come uh, really into focus um, when Lackawanna College will be making yeah. their move up to really the center right. of downtown. Right. So, and I think what's important there, well, two things. One, it shows the confidence uh, that Lackawanna College has in downtown Hazleton. They want to, uh, they're, they're investing, you know, mm -hmm. money and time and effort into, uh, into their new location for growth. They want to be able to accommodate growth. So that's fantastic. I mean, all major downtown, thriving downtowns have young people. They mm -hmm. have um, an educational component. Uh, certainly LCC uh, has a presence mm -hmm. already. We're hoping that that will expand as well. Uh, Penn State will have a footprint in the downtown. So having that educational uh, use and right. the, the, the younger students, I think, is, gonna, is going to be really helpful. Uh, you know, so just getting the energy, getting more people, more businesses. You know, the HNB Bank building's being renovated. There's going to be office space coming online there. Uh, it's just going to be a, a time for really re recruitment all, all the way around. All right, so a lot going on in downtown. Of course, if you uh, want to learn more about what's going on, you can head over to their website. Uh, and of course, you can call Chris at the chamber at uh, 455-1509. All the information going up, and of course, we love when you come on and talk about First Friday, so we'll be expecting you to, to launch it here uh, in just a couple of weeks uh, as we get ready for First Friday in 2018. All right, everyone, thanks so much. And Krista, thank you so much for coming on and talking again with for us. Thanks for having me. And um, we'll have you back uh, the next phase uh, when everything's getting ready <laughs> yeah. and talk about where we're going and just how great downtown Hazleton is looking. So be part of it. Make sure you come out and uh, support all the businesses in downtown Hazleton uh, and come out and support First Friday and all the work being done by DHAP. Thank you so much for joining us here on Topic A, everyone. We'll catch you next time here on WYLN.